Hey. Okay, black, 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 black on black, black, my thoughts so black, black, black on black, my skin is so black, I'm rocking that black on black is black. black rims on this black. black wheels in this black. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you want to get this cute look, make sure that you keep on watching. All right, so we're going to start off with our eyelids being primed. And we're going to go in with this red tint of an eyeshadow, and I am loving it. But you're going to use a very light hand when you're applying the red eyeshadow. Because if you go in heavy-handed, you're definitely going to apply too much product. So we're going to just keep applying with the light hand. Just get a nice little base going. Because this is the color that we're starting with, and this will be our transition color as well. So keep applying the red. Um, this will be the transition color. And I really love this color. So see how it's very faint right now? That's going to change throughout the video. So we're just going in with a light hand on both colors. And then we're going to just build ourselves up until we get to um, the color that we like. So we're going to just build the product. And see, it's, it's pretty faint right now. But we're going to go in and just keep adding, keep adding. See how it's starting to get more pigmented? We're just going to keep adding and having fun while we're doing this. I'm doing the same here, just adding more. And we're going to build that product. Now I'm going to go in with a different turquoise from my Beauty Treats palette. And everything that you're seeing in this video will be linked down below. So see how much more pigmented this is? This is like, oh my god, dramatic. But I love it. I'm here for it. So we're going to go in with the light hand with this as well because this turquoise is highly pigmented. So we're going to go in and add more. And I'm really going for a nice, dramatic, I'm stepping out look. So now we're going to go in with a light hand and just blend the red and the turquoise together. This is a very crucial step because you do not want it to look too different. Like you want it to blend and create that transition. It just tends to look a lot better. I'm adding more of my turquoise because I'm going for a very bold, dramatic look. I already did my cat eye off camera. Now I'm going to go in with my Fit Me foundation, light coat, just to, you know, get our face nice and even. And of course, we're going to blend this out. <laughs> Very important to do so. So we're going to blend this out. I like to do a nice thin coat. Like I said, I don't like to put too much on. It just gets to be cakey after a while. So it's going to add just enough that we need. Get that neck, honey, because it is so important. Gonna get the forehead. Now I'm gonna just go in with my concealer because that is super important just to get your eyes to pop. I'm going to go in and distribute this nice and evenly. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the other eye. But come on now, you're no rookie to this. You know what to do. Blend that concealer out. Now we're going to go in with our setting powder. This is very important so you do not receive creases throughout your day. Put that setting powder on all of the concealer that you've used. Just go over it because this is what keeps the concealer in place because concealer tends to crease and we don't want that. And we don't want to have creases in our face throughout the day. So you're going to go right ahead and just, you know, I don't bake too long. I added my lashes off camera as well. We're going to go ahead and hit the bottom lid up with some mascara. We got to just get this look all nice and complete. And that's what we're doing. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. And just keep adding as much as you like. And 
And now we're going to go in with our highlighter. I haven't wore a highlighter in a while, so I'm pretty excited to wear highlighter. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer as well. Just testing it out and seeing which color I want to go in with. So we're going to just go right ahead and put that on our cheeks to create that, you know, glazed donut effect. <laughs> so we're going to go in with our highlight. I'm, I like to have fun with highlight. I just love it. I put it on my Cupid's bow as well, as well as my other cheek. Duh. So we're going to go right ahead and do that. And this is what we're doing. And just add as much highlighter as you like. Some people like to be super, super highlighted. I like to just have enough where, like, if the sun hit it, it's pretty cute and effortless. So I'm just hitting up that other cheek to make sure it, you know, it's all working out. Now we're going to go in with a brown lip pencil. I'm going to line my lips. And we're going for a subtle lip with this pop of an eye. So we're going to keep the lip pretty subtle. We don't want to look like a clown out here. So we're going to do it right. So now go right ahead and just fill in your lips. And I'm going in with a nice nude um, lipstick. And pretty much this is what my lips is looking like. I like to go over it with vitamin E oil. And we are done. Not too much. Not too little. Just enough. So now I'm going to let my hair down. I love my twist. So I've been rocking my twist as y'all know. But just, you know, get the look together. Have some fun. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about this video, and share it, tell everybody, let's get these looks popping for the summertime, let's have fun with color, and I'll see you all in my next video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Raina Ray Style. Um, and yeah, show love. See y'all in my next video. Ciao!